upon approaching, we felt the cold seed and this huge, like, um, <laughs> no good feeling at all, you know, like, you know, they like your, your normal self is fighting this different encounter, you know, and, um, and then we realized that there was no one, no, we, we didn't see no one. And then we realized that immediately on, on the dock, um, we saw some footprints. But instead of uh, that of a human, we saw something like a turkey and uh, something else different, like two different footprints. Like you could see, you could see the footprints walking all the way to the end of the dock, and uh, it was really, really fresh. And you could see the, like the, you know, the turkey or the chicken, you know. And then <laughs> when we saw that, we look at each other and we just run, 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 run all the way home, you know. If you were to see a beautiful woman with long black hair beckoning you over on the side of the road, would you think twice about approaching her? What if the woman was cloaked in white and had one foot of a turkey and the other of a goat? Then the thought may cross your mind that you are looking at the spirit of Ishtabai, the femme fatale luring you to your death. David Ruiz, a Belizean storyteller, details the legend comes from that pre-Hispanic Mayan culture, a, which represents uh, a, a princess, a Mayan princess in ancient Yucatan, a, who, who is hexed by, by, by another lady because um, of jealousy. No? She was, a, she was um, being courted by one of the noblemen and the other lady well, gets jealous and hexes Princess Sula, Ishtabai. And from there, she's, she's kind of doomed to roam the planet eternity in, in search of, 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 um, of a suitor, no? of a male suitor. And, and that's where it comes to us as, as the lady that in the temptress that um, attracts men. The vindictive spirit is known for targeting men because even though she lived as Utskalel, a pure woman, she died with an evil heart. Unlike her counterpart, Ekshkiban, who, although promiscuous, was shunned by society, embodied characteristics of good and kindness. Aurelia Sho says that he encountered Ishtabai twice in his youth. He detailed the second encounter to us where he stumbled upon a woman brushing her long black hair while he was crossing the Blue Creek Bridge at 4.30 in the morning. I kind of stopped to watch and then, but when you stop for that few seconds and try to make that connection, that is where it, 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 it lets out the, 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 I don't know, I don't want to call it evil spirit or whatever, but the, just the, the, the energy. And the energy was so overwhelming, you know, and it started to compete with yours, and then that's when it started to bring you down, you know, the cold seed, the, you know, like, I feel like all my hair stand up, you know, and um, it's quite an encounter. Honestly, you, you, you get really afraid, you know, and uh, immediately then and there, I realized that that was the Ishtabai, and in no time, like somebody spray one perfume where just <laughs> well, one very very strong strong scent of one, one natural something you know like one perfume you know that that way let out and um and then like in no time you see that there is nothing in the river no but you know you know that the, that it's the ishtabai according to the legend those who are lured by Ishtabai don't typically live to tell the tale, as she turns herself into a snake and devours her captive. Shaw says he was fortunate both times because he was taught how to recognize malicious spirits. Growing up, um, you learn a lot of things from your uh, grandparents, from your parents, and especially learn to survive and um, traditional knowledge. So you would have, I would know what to do and what to what to, you know you say you leave prayer and you know uh, you, you know find yourself um being um trapped or to be overcome by by any of these things you know and i, I think this is the uniqueness of our culture you know we 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 adapt and we learn to live in harmony with nature
Ishtabai is so solidified in Belizean culture that a movie depicting the character was produced in 2012 by the late Matthew Clink through the production company Make Belize Films. It starred a nearly all Belizean cast and was filmed within the country. Clink's former business partner Horatio Guerrera told us about the role of Ishtabai in the film. The plot of the story is we have these students that escaped their village in San Antonio because a curse has been placed on the village and the people are in fever, some are dying, and then they, the, the village is locked down by the government because they're afraid for it to spread. And then these uh, group of adventurous students escape into the jungle to see if they can find the, the cure or how to break that curse from the Eshzabai. And of course, from there, everything escalates and they go into the jungle and they start you know, meeting with the demon and having, you know, all these encounters. And then, you know, you see if they, they find to break the curse of the Eshtabai. Guerrera explained that Kling's vision for the movie was to create something that would capture the attention of and resonate with Belizean audiences. He needed something where the audience would be captivated and something that was, that all Belizeans would, would know about. So. Upon his, his arrival here and talking to people, he saw that folklore was something that Belizeans are very much into and, and everybody, you know, across the board, doesn't matter, Mestizo, Creole, everybody, everybody kind of knows about folklore and the Eshtabai just seemed to be that, that you know, that um, creature, that, that monster that would captivate. Brittany Gordon for News 5.